In this video, we'll take a look at reviewing content from breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. I've got an Adobe Connect room here. This is my main room, and I'm on a layout that I'd like to use as the initial layout for all of my breakouts. In other words, when I create my breakout rooms, because we're on this layout, all of my breakout rooms will look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and create those breakout rooms right now by switching to the breakout room view in the attendees list. And I'm going to create three new breakout rooms. And you can see if I scroll down here, I've got three new breakout rooms. I'm not going to label them. I'll just keep them as breakout one, two, and three. I'll go ahead and distribute all of my participants into those breakout rooms. So we've got two participants now in each breakout room. As the host, I'm still in the main room. But I'm going to go ahead and start the breakouts. And as the host, I can navigate from breakout room to breakout room. So I'll go into breakout room one, for example. And you'll see that there's a new instance of each of these pods in breakout room one. So this now says chat 20 breakout one and notes 16 breakout one. All of these are instances of the pods that we had in the main room. That way, the individuals in the breakout rooms can take their own notes and have their own chat and do their own exercises without affecting the other breakout rooms. So let's uh, add some notes to breakout room one here. And I will just very quickly make a couple of quick annotations on this image. And then I'll go and visit the folks in breakout room two. So we'll make some new notes in breakout two here. And again, I'll very quickly make a, an annotation on breakout room two. We'll change the color here to yellow and circle some different options. And finally, I'll navigate to breakout room three with Lisa and Tony. And I can see that they've got their own notes, their own chat, their own exercise. So we'll just type in breakout three notes. And once again, we'll make a quick annotation choosing a different color again uh, on this particular image. Okay, so we've had three different breakout rooms all completing their own activities. Let's take a look at how we can review that content back in the main room. I'm gonna go ahead and end breakouts. And that's gonna bring us all back into the main room. Now each of my participants are still assigned to their different breakouts, but we're all back in the main room. I'm going to actually switch the attendee list back to list view. I've created a new blank layout that I can use to review the content that happened during the breakouts. What happens after you begin breakouts is in the pods menu, you will see a new entry called breakout pods. You will not see this appear until you begin breakouts in your Adobe Connect room. After you've started the breakouts, these new options will appear and I can bring in any of the content from any of the breakout rooms. These will reflect the labels that you've named on your breakout rooms. So I've just called them breakout one, two, and three. But if I had named my breakout rooms, those names would also be reflected in this menu here. And you'll see that I can bring in the notes from each one of those different breakout rooms. I can bring in the exercises from each one of those different breakout rooms. And in this way, I can have each of the leaders of the breakout rooms take the rest of the virtual classroom or the rest of the attendees in our meeting through that content. So we can have individual groups go off and create this content in smaller teams, then bring them back into a larger group and take all of the content that they were working on. Let's go ahead and bring in the exercise where they were annotating that exercise. So we can take all of that content and bring it back into our main room. Not only will this enable us to capture it in the recording, but it will enable us to review that content with the larger group. What's great about this approach is that we actually don't need to wait until the breakouts have finished to bring in all of this content into our review layout. So I can create this review layout either ahead of time or while the groups are breaking out and bring in these breakout objects and see them get updated in real time. So it's a handy way for an instructor or the host of the room to see what's happening in all of the different breakouts all at once. That's a quick look at reviewing content from breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.